Hello everyone, welcome to the Spurs News. First off, I'm Muwafa and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. And before we even start, just remember the headlines, okay? We're gonna talk about the games, predictions for tomorrow's games in the Premier League. Of course, only Premier League. And then we're gonna talk about who some of the pundits are saying is the next Paulinho if they don't work as hard as expected. Finally, we're going to say what happened to this lost player? But spur our way to glory. First off, tomorrow's game's in the Premier League. And we're gonna talk about Everton versus Southampton. Everton is still holding 100% record. They're top of the league, and they are looking like they're unbeatable. For me, they could win the title, to be honest. Even though I'm a Spurs fan, and Spurs is at my heart, but we're still sloppy in defense. So Everton should be able to win comfortably against Southampton. That being said, they should be able to win by a two goal difference, 3-1 or 2-0. They have some problems in defense too, Everton. Okay, say what? Wolves and Newcastle are gonna play together. Okay. Everton and Newcastle are playing against each other. Oh. This is gonna be a very close game, but you know, Wolves are still Roaring, they're going very good. They're playing so good right now. They won last minute last time out, and they are looking a very good team again. Back to their best. So, I give Wolves the upper hand in this game. It's gonna be a difficult game, but a one goal difference for Wolves 1 0 or a 2 1 is the expected result. All right, now Arsenal and Leicester City. This is the best game that's happening tomorrow. If you don't have anything, if you can only one, watch one game tomorrow, that's the game. Make sure you watch that game. I know Arsenal is, is my rival, it's the rival of Tottenham Hotspurs, but you know, this is a game that's gonna be very hot for any uh, spectator out there that wants to watch a good game. They should be very close to each other, but Leicester is performing at top level and they have shown that they recruited very well during the summer. Castagna is out there, he's showing a lot of good stuff. So I'm predicting Jamie Vardy is gonna run riot <laughs> against the very slow defense of Arsenal, unfortunately, they just have very bad defense, worse than the defenders we have, especially that they're slow. So, a two goal difference for Leicester City. What do you think? These are our predictions for tomorrow's games. Let's go to Spurs news and really quick talk about what happened to Danny Rose. Is he in exile? Is he gonna leave on free? At the Spurs news, we think he's gonna be in exile and he's gonna leave on free. Come January, he's gonna try to wait, find a way out to any other club. Okay, the player that's going is compared to Paulinho at this time because his opportunities are limited and he's not showing a lot of grit or potential. He did have a lot of potential. He does have a lot of potential. A lot of people are saying he's class, but he's very slow. And I don't know if he's in the right sport because every time he comes on the field, he's sagging his shorts way down. He thinks he's a basketball player. I know I've said that many times, but yo, come on, Delhi. You gotta come to the right game, bro. You gotta run faster. You gotta show some grit and score some goals. Even his shot was lazy, come on. Okay, fans are saying on the banning Mourinho, you have to start Rodon. What do you say? Is it time for him to finally start a game? I know he came from the championship, but yo, our defenders are not doing so good. Anybody can be a defender in our team right now. All right, Alistair Gold is trying to say, you know, we're gonna have some problems if we don't play Hoiberg. We're so reliant on him, blah, 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 blah. I like others their goals because his news are probably reliant, usually reliant. And my only concern is he's giving Hoiberg too much attention. We have too many defensive midfielders. I know a lot of you said Harry Winks is a chicken without a head, but he can play that role pretty well. Musa Sissoko is good. Tange in the middle is pretty good. So um, I don't think we're too heavily reliant on anybody in midfield or in and that attack. The only problem is we're having is defense. All right, some people are saying this is getting serious. Do you think Christian Eriksen has a way back to the Spurs team? 
I think at this first news, it's impossible. But, you know, impossible is nothing, according to Adidas. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's spur our way to glory. Thank you for watching the video. And please don't forget to watch this tweet by Mourinho answering why Daly Alley could be not in the team. Is not in the team. Spurs news, tracking down every detail, transfer news, every gossip, every finished move, game predictions, analyzing and giving more for scores.